What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to add new sheets with names from a list. So let's get right into it. All right, so say that we have a workbook where we want to add new sheets and we want to use names that are from a list here. So we'll be adding sheets with names based on cell values and we're going to loop through each row until we reach the end of our list. So we're going to call this sub add sheets and we'll declare our variables. We got count and I as integers and then we'll go ahead and get our count out the way. So count's going to be equal to worksheet function dot count a the range is going to start here at cell a1 And then we're going to do an XL down. So at this point, our count should be equal to six. And then we'll say I is equal to two, because that's where our list is going to start, our list of new sheet names. And then we'll do a, a do while loop. So do while I is less than or equal to count. And we'll loop. So what we're going to do is you want our sheets to appear one after the other. And we want them to start after data. Normally, the sheets will come before this first sheet and they'll go from right to left instead of from left to right. So in order to go from left to right, we have to do this. So I'm going to say sheets.add after sheets and then after the sheets count. So it's going to count the number of sheets and insert a new sheet after whatever the count is. So as the number of sheets grows, it'll continue to put the next sheet at the end of that. So we want the name and the name is going to be equal to sheets. And this sheet's actually called data. So sheets data. And the cell we're going to reference through each loop is going to be I because we're going to go down to and then we're going to be in that first column. So the only variable that needs to change, the only parameter that needs to change is this first one, the i, and the i is going to be 2 to start off. And each time we go through the loop, we're going to add increase i by 1. So i equals i plus 1. And we can't forget to put dot text to get a text value. So let's go ahead and run this code and see how it works. And there you have it. We've got China, India, United States, Indonesia, and Brazil. However, it's kind of annoying that it opens up on the newest tab. If you don't want that, if you want it to open up on data, we can change our code so that we just activate the data sheet just more of an aesthetic thing so let me delete these and let's run the code again and you see we're 
we end on the data tab and we have all these populated here China, India, United States, Indonesia, Brazil, one after the other. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.